Welcome back to the CryptoBot channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, Bitcoin is continuing the huge breakouts from this massive bullish pattern, while the price is running into some short-term resistance. But on top of that, the liquidation heat map is revealing where prices may be heading next, and also Ethereum is getting much closer towards a major breakout, which I'll talk about later in the video, so make sure to watch to the end. First of all, just giving you a really quick update here on the weekly Bitcoin chart. And right now, the price of Bitcoin is once again attempting a breakout above this major area of resistance, which is sitting in between around 36,000 to 38,000. But at least for now, we have not yet confirmed the breakout above 38K on the weekly time frame because we have not yet seen a weekly candle close confirm above 38K. But obviously, right now, as I'm recording this video, the price of Bitcoin is trading above 38K and the next weekly candle close happens in a little over one day from now. And so for as long as the price of Bitcoin remains around where we are right now over the next couple of days, of course, that would mean we would confirm a weekly candle close above 38K, which would be the first confirmation signal actually confirming the breakout above this strong area of resistance. And in that case, this price range, once again, in between around 36,000 to 38,000 could become new support. In case we see a short-term pullback, once again, we could find support in that region, like what we saw all the way back here in early 2022. And as for other levels of resistance further to the upside, based on Fibonacci levels here on the weekly time frame, we have more resistance at around 42,000 and another level of resistance at around 48 to 49,000. But obviously, despite what happens in the short term, whether we see a short term pullback, sideways consolidation, or if we continue further to the upside in the short term, either way, that doesn't really matter here on the larger time frames because here on the weekly time frame, we are obviously still within a larger bullish trend, as I've been saying since the very beginning of this year. And something else that I've mentioned throughout this year is, of course, this giant cup and handle pattern here on the four-day Bitcoin chart, which is also visible on the weekly Bitcoin chart. And obviously, we have already seen a successful breakout above the neckline for this pattern, which was sitting at around $31,000. And so, as I said on the channel all the way back then, obviously, this is an extremely bullish signal on the larger timeframes pointing towards a lot more bullish price action. And we've already seen a lot more bullish price action since 31K. But the technical price target for this massive cup and handle pattern is sitting all the way up here at around 59 to 60,000. And now personally, I do not expect this pattern to fully complete and hit that price target anytime this year, considering we have less than one month left of 2023. But with that being said, I do expect the price of Bitcoin to continue up towards that price target towards around 59 to 60,000 US dollars sometime during next year, sometime during 2024. And now obviously considering the size of that move, of course, we will not go there just in a straight line straight to the upside. We will see some pullbacks along the way that is very normal to see. But once again, if we see those short term pullbacks along the way, it is important to understand that those short term pullbacks don't necessarily invalidate this larger bullish trend. Because at least for this breakout to the upside, for this bullish pattern, and technical price targets, this would only invalidate if we actually see a confirmed break back below the neckline, which once again is sitting at around 31,000. And if you're zooming into the daily Bitcoin chart, of course, we do have this bearish divergence here that is forming, but is not active as of right now, because over the last one day, we have now actually confirmed a new higher high in place in the daily candle closes, but we have not yet actually confirmed the lower high in place here in the daily Bitcoin RSI. And so in order to actually confirm this lower high in place in the RSI, of course, we need to see a rejection, some sort of pullback in the RSI. And how to see that is by seeing some red daily candle closes confirm in the price. Because otherwise, if we don't see those red daily candle closes confirm in the price, and we just continue going higher and higher in the price, then of course, that can drag the RSI further to the upside. And if the RSI goes high enough into higher highs, then obviously, if we have higher highs in the RSI and higher highs in the price, action, there's no bearish divergence at all. And so once again, at least for now, this bearish divergence is potentially forming, but it is not yet confirmed. So overall, we are still looking more bullish than bearish. It's just important to be aware of a potential bearish divergence forming right now. 
And even if this bearish divergence confirms, of course, we might not necessarily see a massive pullback. We could just see some choppy sideways price action over the next few weeks if this bearish divergence confirms due to the fact that the DXY or US dollar index is still pulling back as of recording this video. And as I've explained time and time again here on the channel, if the DXY is bearish, that is usually bullish for the price of Bitcoin. And obviously that is exactly what we have seen time and time again, especially throughout 2023 so far. And basically the only significant pullbacks in the price of Bitcoin that we've seen this year so far within the larger bullish trend, I'm talking about 20% pullbacks in the price of Bitcoin. All three of these significant pullbacks that we've seen this year so far have occurred exactly when the DXY has been in a short-term bullish trend. And so essentially while the DXY is still trending to the downside like it is right now, once again, I would not necessarily expect any significant pullback in the price of Bitcoin. And now obviously we can still experience day-to-day -day volatility, like for example, 5% moves up or down. Of course, we can still see slight bearish price action in the short term, even if the DXY is dumping. But when it comes to the more significant pullbacks, like 15 to 20% pullbacks or more in the price of Bitcoin, once again, we would really need to see a bullish reversal in the DXY in order to expect that. And so at least for now, of course, while the DXY is still trending in the bearish direction, obviously the price of Bitcoin is still trending in the bullish direction. And we can see that here on the eight hour Bitcoin chart, the price of Bitcoin is still clearly within this bullish trend, forming higher lows and higher highs in this ascending parallel channel. And this line of support for the parallel channel is sitting at around 36.6k. The center line, which can act as support or resistance, is sitting at around 37.9k. And the line of resistance is sitting at around 39.3k. And if you're zooming into the six hour Bitcoin chart, of course, over the last couple of days, we have seen a further breakout to the upside from this bullish ascending triangle pattern. And so at least for now, once again, we are still looking more bullish than bearish, even though we might have a couple bearish things starting to form like a bearish divergence or this rising wedge I'll talk about in just a moment. At least for now, those couple of bearish signals have not actually confirmed, whereas this bullish breakout for this bullish pattern has already been confirmed and is now playing out. And so that is why I'm saying we're still looking more bullish than bearish. And of course, in terms of the trend, once again, we have not yet broken that bullish price structure. And so at least for now, we still have that technical price target, which is active for this ascending triangle pattern. Once again, that price target sitting at around $41,000. And the point of invalidation for this breakout to the upside from this ascending triangle pattern would be a break back below this level right here, which is sitting at around 37.6K. And as I mentioned on my last video here on the channel, I have already entered a long position right around the point of the breakout, which I did talk about here on the channel well before the breakout even happened. But right now, my stop loss is slightly in profit so that in the worst case scenario, if we dump right now, I automatically exit the trade in profits right where my stop loss is sitting at. And as I also mentioned in my last video, of course, I did close some of that position in profits and I've kept the remainder of that position open in case we do end up completing the pattern and hitting the price target. Of course, I continue to profit as we continue to go to the upside. And like I explained in a little bit more detail in my last video, the reason why I did take a small amount of profits off the table in this breakout long position right here is due to the fact that the price is running into this short-term line of resistance sitting at around 38.8K. And of course, this line of resistance here on the eight hour Bitcoin chart is the line of resistance for this bearish rising wedge pattern, which is a different pattern altogether from an ascending triangle pattern, which is a bullish pattern. And now it is important to understand that even though this might be a bullish pattern and this might be a bearish pattern. Of course, it's not impossible to see a breakout to the upside from a bearish pattern. That's just the less likely scenario. And so once again, we could end up seeing that happening. But due to the fact that we have run into this line of resistance, once again, I did close a small amount of that long position in profits. But overall, I'm still long on the price of Bitcoin in this breakout trade right here. And if you're wondering where I took this trade in the price of Bitcoin, I did open that trade over on Bybit. And I'll make sure to leave a link to Bybit in the description down below and in the pinned comment. And in fact, if you use that link down below this video to make a Bybit account, simply deposit on that account and you can get up to a $30,000 deposit bonus, but only if you use that link down below this video. But unfortunately, due to regulations around the world, there's some countries where you may not be able to access Bybit in. And so if that's the case, there is also Bitflex, which is another crypto exchange similar to Bybit, but you don't need KYC with Bitflex. And as always, I'll make sure to leave a link to Bitflex in the description down below and in the pinned 
use comment. And if you use that link to make a Bitflex account, simply deposit $100 worth of crypto or more and to make one trade over on Bitflex and you can get 10 USDT completely for free. So that's basically a 10% return on a $100 deposit. And so if you're trading crypto anyway, or if you're preparing to make your first trade, then make sure to check out those links down below this video for those extra bonuses. And just giving you another quick update on that rising wedge pattern. Once again, we are running into that resistance as of recording this video, sitting at around 38.8K. And so right now, just in the short term, this is an important moment, a critical moment for the price of Bitcoin, because obviously if we confirm a breakout with candle closes above 38.8K, then that basically gets rid of this rising wedge pattern and we can just continue on with the bullish breakout from this ascending triangle pattern. But on the flip side, if we do really see a strong rejection from this resistance, if we fail the breakout, then in that case, of course, we could continue to form this rising wedge pattern. And this pattern only activates if we actually see a confirmed break below this line of support, which is sitting at around 37.6 to 37.7K. And in that case, if we do end up seeing a confirmed break below that line of support and a rejection basically right now, then in that case, that would set up a technical price target at the bottom of the wedge sitting at around 34 and a half thousand. But we could also find support at these candle closes right here at around 35.7K approximately. But once again, that technical price target to the downside and this bearish rising wedge pattern is not yet confirmed. As of recording this video, it's just a potential pattern to pay attention to, but it only confirms if we break this support without breaking this line of resistance. And if you're taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, right now we have new liquidations, new liquidity building up at around $39,000. In fact, as you can see here, we have over 400 million, nearly half a billion dollars worth of positions about to be liquidated if the price of Bitcoin crosses just above $39,000. And so what this tells us is there's a lot of traders out there still skeptical on the price of Bitcoin right here, still trying to short the price of Bitcoin, even though we are continuing to pump to the upside. And in case you did not already know, when a short position closes or gets liquidated, that actually adds even more buying pressure to Bitcoin, pumping the price even further to the upside. And so basically, the more people that are out there trying to short the price of Bitcoin, trying to bet against Bitcoin or push the price of Bitcoin further to the downside, the more people out there like that, the higher the price of Bitcoin will likely go. Because usually Bitcoin gets attracted towards these liquidation zones, towards these areas of liquidity, because without that high liquidity in these low liquidity zones that we're in right now, for example, it's very easy to move the price of Bitcoin because it doesn't take much money to move the price of Bitcoin in low liquidity zones. And so essentially the price of Bitcoin naturally goes towards those high liquidity zones because it's much harder to move the price of Bitcoin in those zones. So we usually go towards those zones. And so due to that reason, once again, it's likely we're going to see the price of Bitcoin go towards around $39,000 sometime soon. Of course, there's no such thing as a guarantee, but that is likely going to happen. But anyway, getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the weekly time frame, And right now, the price of ETH is getting extremely close to a major breakout from this massive bullish ascending triangle pattern. And this pattern has been forming ever since around the middle of 2022. And so for well over a year, nearly a year and a half, we have seen the price of ETH form this giant ascending triangle pattern. And the resistance level that we need to break above is sitting at around 2,150. And once again, we need to ideally see weekly candle closes above 2,150 in order to actually confirm the breakout for this bullish ascending triangle pattern. But anyway, if you're looking at the daily Bitcoin chart, of course, right now, we are about to run into this resistance on the daily time frame, which is sitting in between around 2,120 to 2,150. And as for support, we still have this level of support at around 1,990 to $2,000. We also have this level of support at around 1.9K and more support down here at around 1830. And obviously in terms of the price structure here, we are still in a bullish trend forming higher lows and higher highs on the daily time frame. But just over the last few weeks, obviously we've seen a lot of choppy sideways price action, basically a pause, a short term pause from this bullish trend, which has helped to reset the price oscillators, actually giving us more room to the upside. And if you're taking a look at the eight hour time frame, of course, right now the price of ETH is still technically forming this bullish ascending triangle pattern with horizontal resistance at around 2120 and this ascending line of support at roughly around 2010 to 2020 approximately. And so at least for now, while the price of ETH is still chopping around 
in between this support and resistance just in the immediate short term we're looking somewhat neutral basically chopping around sideways and then the moment we either confirm a breakout above this resistance or below this support at that point we could potentially enter the next trade because that is when we can set up the next price target for this pattern and speaking of that technical price target if we end up seeing a break below that line of supports basically if we see a rejection very soon from that resistance and break to the downsides then that would set up a technical price target at around 1770 but on the flip side if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above that line of resistance so above around 2120 then in that case that would set up a technical price target to the upside at around 2430 so from the point of the breakout to that price target that's roughly around a 14 percent move to the upside so for example in a 10x leverage trade that 14 percent profit would actually be a 140 percent profit with a 10x leverage trade more than doubling your money and as for the strategy for this breakout trade right here if we do end up confirming a breakout above resistance the strategy for this breakout trade personally would be basically identical to the strategy that i have here on the six hour bitcoin chart and so once again as i explained a few days ago in advance of this breakout right here i would enter a breakout trade just above the point of the breakout once we see a bit of confirmation and at that point of course i would already have a stop loss set up just below the point of invalidation in case we do end up seeing a confirmed break to the downside to invalidate the pattern of course the stop loss would just exit me out of the trade with a small loss and ultimately i'll place a take profit just before the technical price target in case we don't actually hit the technical price target and once again that is basically my strategy here for the breakout trade in the price of bitcoin and i'll basically be using that exact same strategy here for a potential breakout in the price of eth and so once again we first need to actually wait to see a confirmed breakout above resistance because we have not yet seen that as of right now now but of course if we do end up seeing that confirm then once again that is where my strategy will come into play to maximize my profits to the upside but remember that is not personal financial advice for you because i don't know your personal financial situation that is just being transparent with my personal trading strategy in these breakout situations and remember if you want to take advantage of a breakout like this make sure you have an account ready to go to make this trade over on bybit or bitflex and i have those extra bonuses once again linked down below this video but either way whether we break out in the bullish direction the bearish direction or continue to chop around sideways in the short term you can make a lot of money very easily in crypto in either of those scenarios by watching these videos popping up right here on your screen the video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using ai and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action but anyway that is everything that i have to say for today i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video